Alright Minecrafters and YouTubers, this is the Moans Tutorials once again. And I just got done with walls, towers, trenches, and roads. So I thought I would show you the survival build we was doing on the Let's Play. And show you how I use those same ideas and put them into the uh, build. Um, houses, you know, they're just whatever you want, so I'm not going to go into that. But, uh, yeah, let's start with the walls first. Also, you'll notice there's no more grass in here. It's because we wanted to make it more city-like before we went and started a colony. We thought it just made more sense. So we added on to it. But here's the walls. Uh, this, the stairs, you know, just adds support. These make it look bulkier. And I think, well, that lacquer table looks retarded. <laughs> I'm not sure if they stop spiders, if this right here is from spiders, but if it doesn't, then these right here definitely do. These stop spiders. And if they do get in here, they can't get in. So. Well, maybe they can. I don't know, we haven't had much many spiders, but I'm pretty sure spiders can get up there for some whatever reason. Pretty sure they can't. But that's that wall. And then it's the same on this wall and the one over there. Just the other one. Is this one's taller than the others. So if they get up there and get stuck and... Oh, Get up there, get stuck, and fall down. To take more damage. Ah. Ow! Ah. Take that face, sucker! Take that, like a block. Well, there's the uh, host of the server, right there. Don't know what he's doing on here. But uh, yeah, here's the wall again. The wall, the other wall, the same wall. And the other wall, I just, the other wall, I didn't feel like building a whole another wall because I'd have to mess with the water. And da -da -da, it just took a lot of effort. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make a basic wall. And it's logs with struts. You know, spiders just they can't get up there. So basic concept right there with the overhanging ledge to keep spiders out. And it's pretty high up as well, so when they fall, they get hurt. And, uh... Towers. Oh, frame rate s -s 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 sucks. Towers. See, again, I have a square. Like I like. And then I got a square... What are these called? Buttress. Buttresses. That's what they are. Buttresses. I have square buttresses all around. I got stairs on top to make it look more supported. And I got wood and cobble alternating. And I got upside down stairs. And I got fence posts and a roof with a flag on it. It's just my most basic bleh, tower design. And it works so well. I like it. Same one over there. Basically the same one over there at the outpost. The uh, lighthouse is a bit different. It's the same build. It just has a uh, it's a diamond instead of a square, so like it's like a turned square around the bottom to make it has like a triangle sticking out each side, and just has stone slabs to complement the dark wood I used, and it has redstone torches in there to act like a uh, lighthouse. And uh, something else. Oh yeah, my other tower. This tower was a coastal tower. I don't know why I built it. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna add something up here. So I did. But oh, here's a good example of roads. See, I got the straight road right here. Really basic, you know, simple. And then it kinda curves right there. And this right here has a curvy feel to it. How I added the stairs to make it go up a level. Which just also works with the half slabs if you want to make it all the same material. And then go up here, up here, and it's straight from here up, up here on up. But uh, got these types of buttresses as well. Ooh, that somebody has a sword. Ugh. Did he drop the sword? I don't think so. Nope, he dropped meat, but no sword. That's gay. All right, that's something Mojang should fix if they have it on them when they die they should drop it 
simple, simple concept. Mojang, come on, get it right. We go up here, and it's just a one-block space, and it has fences for you to look around. And then I can't remember how I did it. But I don't know where I put it, but somewhere I put a lever. A lever. <coughs> voice disappeared to power this redstone lamp instead of having torches in there. I don't know where I put it though. Oh, there it is, right up there on the tippy top. So that's that. Uh, here's our gay farm. Other gay farm. What the? How did that happen? There we go. Oh, you dropped a bow. And bones. Bow and bones. Bows and bones. Bones and bows. Hmm. There's something there. I feel like there's something there with that. Oh, here's a bridge. It's a straight bridge. It has supports all along the bottom. It's made out of wood, so it doesn't have to look all intricate like stone usually does, because masonry... When they build bridges out of bricks and stuff, they add intricate design stuff and chisel it. Wood, when you just need to get across stuff, they usually use a little awl. They generally just use wood and just lay it across there in the simplest way possible. So you can just hear me get across there. And as a town or city might develop, they might, you know, make their slaves as in medieval times, like they would have, or serfs if you're in Russia improve the bridge, making it stone or have stone supports. But uh this gets the job done. I think it looks better than a stone bridge would. Oh by the way, that's something they did in creative. Added a what's the Valentine's Day heart right there. So happy belated Valentine's Day, y'all. Here's another wall. That doesn't really keep anything out. It just I don't know. I just wanted to build it like that. Just, just felt like doing it. Uh, it. It's just logs going straight up and they alternate with torches in the middle and have fence posts on the top. And uh, these roads are straight too. Here's an archery thing. What the? Ain't that button supposed to click? Oh, I think they fixed that or something. Yeah, I was hitting that freaking button. But uh, anyway, you go up here and see how this road. I was talking about following a curve of a hill. Well, I kind of cut through it, but it still kind of follows the curve of the hill. I mean, this curves and goes down here. And then this is straight. And then it curves. And then it does like a little... It's not a, it's not a sharp, like, straight curve. Like, it doesn't go at a 45 degree angle. It goes... Da, 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 da. So like that. And then it comes out. Here's the dock. There's the lighthouse, by the way. So that's an example of curved roads. I thought I'd give of how I've of how I've applied those tips that I've learned to my actual builds, because my tutorials are not like block by block by block by block. Now, it's simple concepts and ideas and theories. Theories, if you know what that means, then don't be offended if this does not look good. It's a theory of how to make things, you know, look good. Yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't look good, I'm sorry, then whatever, but I think it look, turns out pretty good. Here's another dock. This is also another example of the road following a curve goes two one one it's I don't know how to explain it's just the curve just looks good to me how did my saddled pig get out of oh. this is a bridge design I had I didn't know how to arch it up because you couldn't put fences straight across and connect and it went to all the zigzagging fences so I was like I don't know what to do I don't know what to do so I was like oh I have a bunch of half slabs here let's put them on top so I put them on top and I put a whole slab, not whole slabs, whole blocks here. A whole slab, a whole, about said it again, whole blocks here to put torches on to light it up. Light it up. And then I got this road that curves around this hill. And then go 
straight curves again and then goes into lava because that I don't know, I was gonna build something there, but I decided not to. I was like, yeah. It's a cool road anyway, I wanna keep it. There's another wall. It's logs, but they're all even and they just have a row of fences on tops. On top. I'm losing my voice today, this sucks. Here's my waterfall that took forever to build. All this stone, man. So much smelting. But uh I like the way it turned out. I really think it was worth it. And this made this whole area a bit more scenic. Just if I felt it was lacking, so I was like, you know what? Boom, I'm gonna do that. And I did it, and it I think it turned out alright. Uh, here's an example of walls. These walls don't really keep anything out, but they look fortified by adding buttresses, braciers, and supports and posts. And this road, I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. Like, when I first started out, I had spotted cobble. Then I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna make it look more city like. So I was like, get rid of as much grass as you can for this outpost. So I reinforced the roads, and this it curves nice. But it's just, I don't know. I should just made this all cobble right here, I think. Maybe like added a fountain or a lamp post or something here. Staircase, pretty basic. Another curving road thing. The. Every time you can, try to break up the symmetry, not symmetry, the uh, direction of it. And if you got a straight road, turn a little bit when you can. Don't just keep plowing through mountains. Maybe make it curve around the mountain or curve up the mountain. It gives it a nice flowing feel to it, and it looks better. And how do these pigs keep getting out of here? Yeah, I tried this design for a freaking pig pen. Because, like, there's no way they're going to get out of here. They can't get out of here. Apparently, they freaking can. And I don't know how. I have no idea how you could get out of there. I don't, it just doesn't, like it's block, half slab, block, half slab, but it has fence all the way around, so it's like just not a, a one block space for them to get out, and I don't know how they do it. I only got one pig left, I had four in here. I only got one pig. Boink. I only got one pig. That's my pig pen. Blacksmith, another dock with floating, that's my attempt at floating torches in the water. That goes up somewhere. I don't remember where that goes, but this little dock for fishing. Oh, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate. This room is going to be a potion room if we ever come back to the city. I don't know if we will or not. If not, then whatever. It just looks like a dome. But down here, <laughs> we got the nether portal. Thing about it is, I'm not going to go in it because it ruins frame rate. But the uh, thing about the nether portal is they don't work on here. There's some kind of problem with the worlds or something, I don't know. But to go to the nether, you gotta type world one. And that takes you to the nether. So I don't know if we're gonna do that later. But we got the nether portal built, so it's not like we're cheating. It's like we actually have the nether portal built. If we could use the nether portals, we would use the nether portals. So it's not cheating. Not cheating. Shut up, pig. What <laughs> Boom. Betcha. Use the spell. This spell's about to die anyway. I'll just use the spell. But, uh, and I got, ooh, that's a good example right there. I was talking about how you put another, like, put a square inside a square or a circle inside a circle and give it a walk, a, a walk around. Level platform to walk around the tower. And this is the built, this is like the part of the fort, this is the building part of the fort. Here's the courtyard. Yep. Fail. There's our cartographer station. And so you go up the tower, go up the tower, and then to get to the tower, there's this little, like, it's like open aired. Gives it nice environment change for me, and it's clustered up all the way up the tower. You got, you can see the sky, and all that. So it's like an open, it's open, it just, it, it's a nice feel. I like it, instead of burning like have blocks all the way around you, you feel claustrophobic. You go up here. Same tower concept. Except I did a different design. I have the stairs, like they're facing inward and holding this piece of block up. Instead of just being all the way around. About it. Shake it up a little bit. Because I'm a boss like that. Yeah, I think about it. I think I should have made this lower 
or something. I don't, I don't know. We should have did something with it. I don't know. Too late now. We're already we're already in a colony. So that's that. And uh, I don't have any trenches on here. We never really had pro any problems with break-ins. I mean, this area seems really well protected to me. I don't know. It seems fortified. So I never really bothered with it. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, so that's, like, the examples of me using the guidelines I stated in my tutorials and applied them to my actual builds. You can see the examples clearly. The parts sticking out. The towers having the supports and the layered top. Uh, the walls having supports on the bottom. The curved roads. See this road right here even curves. And this is a nice 45 degree angle curve. I've got a mixture of dark, light wood. Smooth and rough looking textures. To just make it more appealing to the eye. And, uh my custom made tree here mm, I think that's about it guys I really don't can't think of anything else to add to it uh, oh look at that we spent a whole day doing this look at that uh, well I love you guys that's my heart for y'all that's kinda creepy never mind I feel kinda pedophilish to all the 12 year olds out there who play Minecraft um I guess that's it guys. Uh yeah, I can't think of anything else. I think I covered curved cur curved roads, towers, bridges, walls. Yeah, that's it. Uh alright. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know when this will be up, but it'll be up soon. So uh alright. Good evening YouTube and Minecrafters.